Hey everyone, I can use some music. Talking to myself. I didn't record it all this weekend. I sat around really. Me and Brittany watched movies like this whole weekend. So. I didn't do anything. May 6th, I am getting reconstructive surgery on my medial patellar ligament. Sucks, right? Hey, Brittany. What? Tell me your deepest, darkest secret. So you're recording. Maybe. This playlist is called Smile, Be Happy. Oh god, my foot's cramping. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! What's a strategic planner? Oh, I love this song. Brittany, I love this song. How many love it as well? Damn right. You mean the great grandma who's dead? Yes, tell her. You know, if she wasn't on medication, I'd be really offended. I like it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go pick up the food. Grandma! <laughs> Didn't show you this either. I uh, got a new car. Check it out. And yeah, that's right. Kyle drives a stick shift. I'm gonna get a bumper sticker to go right there. And it's gonna say, I'm in a stick shift. Back off. Mitch was in here last. He must have forgot to clean out his urine bottle. Can you see me okay? I feel like you can, but I don't know. No, I'm getting the bumper sticker because when I'm on like a hill and I'm getting ready to drive forward, people will get right behind me. And I'm like, oh, if I roll back into you, I'm gonna, it's your fault. I'm so tired. But I feel like I have some kind of hair in my eye. I don't remember what bitch I wanted to eat. It's nice to drive this car, I've driven it in a few days. Brittany's sick here, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm kind of worried that uh, she's gonna be sick. Here's what's really troubling is uh, my friend Daniel just got pneumonia. And I told Brittany, you know, it's not pneumonia, it's fine, but it could be. And we're gonna find out, by the time I put up this video, it's either gonna be you know, the sickness will be gone, or it will be time for Brittany to go to the doctor. <laughs> what does Mitchell want? Okay, I can't remember. I, we got stuck on the Sprite thing. Never mind. Like I said, we watched a lot of movies the other night, and uh, we watched uh, two documentaries. We watched Food Inc., which I had seen before, and it's pretty good. I mean, it, I, I mean, it's really good, actually. Honestly, it makes me want to change my, like, all of my eating habits, which I probably won't. I mean, I'm going to Taco Bell. And we watched Eight, The Mormon Proposition, which is, a t I mean, for the most part, was a documentary about the, the Church of the Latter-day Saints and, and how they raised up a ridiculous amount of, wow, dude, butt crack, man, ew, oh, god, anyways, they raised up all this money to, for Prop, Proposition 8 in California, which banned gay marriage, a lot of interesting things, like, uh, sometimes I didn't even think about it until they brought it up, was that, um, churches, you know, religions are tax exempt, uh, but they were saying, and it's, it is, Factual that if you are a non-profit organization, if you're a non-profit organization like a church, you're not allowed to donate money, a substantial amount of money, uh, for a political 
thing. It was kind of crazy. Like the church donated ridiculous millions and millions of dollars. Uh, I think tens of millions of dollars to make sure that uh, the campaign to get this proposition passed. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just gonna say real fast that it's that's just terrible what they did. I mean. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Sorry. Wow, what? That see, that's that's customer service. Wow. You missed two things. You better run both. Sorry about that, oh, that's fine. I forgot to your bag. <laughs> Thank you. She just gave me a whole other bag. I think she called me fat. The Mormon Church does not agree. Well, at least the, this church was is really prominent one in the Mormon community. Um, I know that a lot of it doesn't agree with same-sex marriage, and you know that it's fine because that's your belief. I don't. I think it's fine. I think uh, you know gays and lesbians should be able to get married. Big whoop. The IRS audited them to see you know how much they claimed they spent like two thousand dollars. I don't know. Hilarious to me. It was a pretty interesting movie, and then all of a sudden it just became this Mormon hate film what what that the Church of the Latter-day Saints did was bigotry but it's just as much bigotry what this person did with the film like they just turned it into just telling you how terrible the Mormon people are. like they start talking about these and it was it was terrible but they talk about these these uh, it wasn't even hazing it was torture what they were doing these gay people uh, at uh, BYU you know it has no place in a documentary about uh, these people the, these Mormons saying hey I mean they were making it look like Mormons were the worst people in the world and they're not so I mean I give it like a six because it had some very good points it was a good documentary but it totally changed what it was arguing I mean not completely like 180 or anything but and uh, Mitchell and Br I said, believe Brittany, we're gonna watch Inside Job, which I've been looking forward to for a while. Look how sick Brittany is. <laughs> also, look how how many different colors I have in my hair. She's in the process of changing it back to blonde. I can't afford to keep dyeing it every three weeks. You just have really powerful hair. So we're here at Walmart. For getting Britney's stuff. School supplies. Yes, sir. I don't know why I'm here. Moral support to get me out of the house. Um, Kyle's gonna be sick in about two days. No, no. I just watched Inside Job for the first time. And I think everyone should watch it.